Welcome to FL Studio Mobile 4. In this video, we'll show you what's new, including instrument and effect modules, plus workflow features, including key signature tools and even UI theming. Let's get started with instruments. First up, we have the Slicer module, a drum loop slicer that can automatically chop audio files into pieces and assign a note in the piano roll for each slice. Inspired by our Fruity Slicer plugin for FL Studio Desktop. Loops with tempo information and markers should use the manual setting indicated by the M. That's all the way to the left. For files that don't have internal markers, turn up the sensitivity knob to apply increasing amounts of automatic slicing. You'll notice every time you change this control, the notes and their length in the piano roll change too. By default, Slicer will dump the new notes of the loop to the piano roll every time the sensitivity control is updated. To change that behavior, deselect Auto here. Attack, Decay and Pitch are self-explanatory. Sustain allows playing slices to the end or while a note is held. Mono will make sure new slices will always cut off the slice that is already playing. The multiband compressor module is a three band compressor slash maximizer. It, you are greeted with crossover settings, a dry mix knob that adds dry signal to the compressed signal, and an output gain control. On the left side here, you can preview each band in solo. Each band has the essential controls of a compressor. Input gain, threshold, ratio, makeup gain, and time variables. Attack and release. You can also see a visualization of the audio passing through the band and a gain reduction curve here. The switches on the right side allow bypassing and muting the compressor band. And you can solo bands from here too. Workflow updates. We've added a scale locking feature to our keyboard and piano roll. Never be out of key again. When you have an instrument selected in the playlist, tap here to open the scale tool. Select a scale here. Notice all notes that aren't in the scale are now greyed out. This means you cannot play these notes, not from the touchscreen or from a MIDI controller. It applies to the piano roll too. Tap on the outer ring to select your root note. Tap and drag in a circular motion to preview the scale. Or tap the play icon here and select root notes to preview the current octave of the scale. This will show mod wheel and pitch bend controls. Tap here to see a second keyboard that is offset one octave. This is helpful for playing bass and chords when using a touchscreen. Tap here to toggle between sharps and flats view. This control will collapse the touch keyboard into showing only the notes in the scale as playable keys, making it easier to hit something for someone with no piano experience at all.
In line with this, you can now also snap to scale in the piano roll when you have notes selected. When you have selected a scale, newly painted notes will snap to it immediately. You can still drag notes out of the scale though. You can even have FL Studio Mobile guess a scale based off of a box selection of notes. All effects now have output gain and mix controls here. Finally, parallel compression in FL Studio Mobile. When you've made a playlist selection, you can now render that region to audio. Also new are settings for reverb and delay tails here. Leave remainder will leave the tail to fade to silence. Wrap remainder will add it to the beginning of the audio file, which is great for creating seamless loops. While cut remainder will abruptly stop the audio at the end of the playlist data. You can now restore recently deleted files. Deleted one too many files when cleaning up the My Songs folder? No biggie. Just go up a level and go into Recently Deleted. Then long tap it and select Restore. Yay! On Windows and Mac OS, you can now right click a file in the Songs tab and select Show in Explorer or Finder to open a File Explorer window at that location. Handy for managing files. For iOS, we've added AudioBus 3 compatibility and latency is now automatically compensated on macOS and iOS devices. Updated UI. Themes are here. Yes, you heard me right. You can now select between a number of themes that were expertly crafted for FL Studio Mobile. More to come in the future. Browser, you can now see the samples you're previewing on the bottom, with an extra play button to make it easy to audition longer files. For desktop setups, we have also improved mouse and keyboard support. There are now right click actions, hover animations, and you can now press escape to close pop-ups, enter to accept prompts, and tab and shift tab to step through controls. In the settings, you can now enable continuous scrolling during playback. This will keep the playhead in view at all times. We've also introduced a new CPU meter. Green is good. Amber is cause for concern and red means your device is about to catch fire. Well, maybe not that extreme, but you're going to see the meter flash red when the processor is running out of time to fill the audio buffer, resulting in buffer underruns. The shop has received a major facelift with pack artwork and a preview player. makes it much easier to see if an expansion is for you. While we're in here, we've added two new free products in the shop. They're easy to spot now with a free badge here. And with that, we hope you'll love FL Studio Mobile 4 as much as we love your lifetime free updates. <laughs>